about to do, and this is Vicky Stilby. Well, it's nice to meet you. I'm Stan Barber. I'm Laura France. I mean, Laura Barber. <laughs> ah, don't tell me, newlyweds. Here, let me show you to the honeymoon suite. Um, we couldn't afford the honeymoon suite. Oh, you're on promenade deck, cabin 312. But I'm sure any cabin that you're in will be the honeymoon suite. <laughs> take your luggage for you. Oh, gosh, what do you have in there? Uh, law books. Um, Stan has to do his homework on this cruise. Homework? Was never that much fun when I was in school. <laughs> well, here, let me take this. Uh, <laughs> nice let's meeting go. you. Me. Who's that young fella? I think I know him. Oh, that's Mr. Stan Barber. Sure looks familiar. Let me see. When you've been married for 25 years, it's your silver anniversary. Five years is wood, and one year is paper. I wonder what it is when you've been married for one day. I don't know. But we have all night to figure it out. Stan Barber, right? Isaac told me the name, but I still can't place the face. How are you tonight? Fine. You two know each other? I think so. I don't think so. Frank Jensen. Um, Laura. Yes, well, it's been driving me crazy. Are you from Woodland Hills? Yes. Maybe you two do know each other. I used to have a liquor store on DeSoto Avenue. Jensen's Liquors, there ten years. Maybe you came in now and then? No, I don't think so. You see, I don't drink, so... No. Oh, well, I... I don't mean to interrupt you two. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Nice meeting. Good night. Good night. That wasn't like you. You are so unfriendly. Stan, you probably just wanted someone to talk to. Let him talk to somebody else. Look. Look, I'm on my honeymoon. I only want to talk to you. Is everything all right? Everything's fine. I'll, I'll be right back. Right back. in your liquor store one night. It was back when I had a... Well, I had a... a drinking problem. I came in drunk, looking to get drunker, and you wouldn't sell me anything. And I guess I went a little bit crazy. Now I recognize you. Now, Mr. Jensen, I understand how you must feel. How could I forget? You and your gang of hoodlums come in my store, rob me, beat me near to death. Gang, I, I don't know anything about it. You and your punk pals! Listen, I don't know what you're talking about. I came in alone. And I ran off with some booze that you wouldn't sell me. Now, I was pretty messed up. When I realized what I had done, well, I just couldn't come back. I was, I was too scared. You were scared? Yes. But a lot has happened to me since then. No, I haven't had a drink in two years. 
I'm in law school now. I met a wonderful girl, and we've just been married. Now, I am really very, very sorry for what happened that night. And Mr. Jensen, believe me, I will do anything, anything to make that up to you. Make it up, Bob. You know where I've been for the past two months? In the hospital, because a couple of punks worked me over. I had to sell my store, and I swore if I ever got one of you, I'd ruin you. Oh, please, Mr. Jensen. I'm gonna forget about law school, kid. You're going to jail. Good morning, sweetheart. Good morning. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I just didn't sleep very well last night, that's all. Oh, poor baby. Mm, well, you were tossing and turning all night. I know. Are you okay? I said I'm okay. Okay? Listen, why don't I get dressed, and we'll have some breakfast, and then we'll sit on the deck and do some more studying. I've been thinking about that. Maybe I'm not cut out for law school. What? Well, it's the, it's the work and the pressure, and who needs that? What's so great about being a lawyer anyway? Come on, Stan, you're being silly. You know being a lawyer is all you've ever dreamed of. Let's sit you out in the sunshine and pour you a cup of coffee, and we'll talk about it, all right? I said I don't want to do it. Now, will you leave me alone? Where are you going? Out. Just out. Tell me, I never forget a drink. Grape juice, right? Double scotch. Coming right up. I've been looking all over for you. Why did you walk out on me like that? I've just got to do some thinking. Double scotch. Stan, what are you doing? I'm having a drink. I thought you were through with that stuff. It's just one little drink. It's no big deal. What is the matter with you? Ever since we got on the ship, you've been acting like a stranger. This is something I have to work out for myself. And that's how you're going to do it? You listen to me, Stanley Barber. If you're going to mess up your life, well, that's your business. But if you're going to mess up our life, well, I'm not going to stick around for it. Young man? Sure. I'm looking for a good restaurant in Acapulco. Any ideas? Well, I'll tell you what. Let me check the restaurant guide, and I'll find you something terrific. Just hang on. Thank you. Bet. <clears throat> Godfrey, did you have any luck? Oh, right. Uh, I booked you on flight 210 to Los Angeles, leaves Acapulco at 9.35. Thank you. Hey, that's what I do. Ms. Barber? Hello, Mr. Jensen. You and your husband going home, are you? No, I'm, I'm going alone. Oh, well, that doesn't sound like much of a honeymoon. Well, maybe he hasn't been much of a husband. What do you mean? Ever since last night, he's been acting like a completely different person. I don't know what happened, and he won't tell me what it is. Oh, sir, I just found you a great place. Well, thanks, that's the same, Gopher. I seem to have lost my appetite. There is something you can do for me, though. Sure. Isaac, can I have double scotch, please? Sure. Are you going to drink it this time, or are you just going to stare at it again? <laughs> hey, aren't you going to say goodbye to your wife? What do you mean? Where's she going? Well, she's flying back to L.A. I thought you knew that. Hey, uh, what was that about? I don't know. Mr. Jensen told me to come up here and tell him that. Well, this time he didn't even stare at it. Come on, thank you. You're welcome. Laura? Laura? Please don't leave. It's a little late for that, isn't it? It's never too late to tell the truth. I know I've been acting strange lately. Strange doesn't begin to describe how you've been acting lately. I have a plane to catch. Laura, please.
please listen to me. Mr. Jensen did recognize me. Back before I knew you, when I was still drinking, I stole some liquor from his store. Now he wants to press charges against me. He could keep me from becoming a lawyer. Why didn't you tell me about this before? I'm your wife. We're not supposed to have secrets. I know, but I was afraid you wouldn't understand. I was afraid it would change how you felt about me. Stan, I love you. And now that you've told me about this, we can face it together. Okay? I thought I recognized you as one of the punks who beat me up. I see now you're not that person at all. I'm sorry. You know, I just remember something else. What? We are on our honeymoon. What are we waiting for? Looks like the honeymoon worked out after all. Well, we're just getting started. And we're never going to let it in. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Before you go, young man, I'd like to get your phone number. Well, I thought we got that all straightened out last night. We did? I just thought I might need a good lawyer sometime, and you're the man I'd like to call. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 